Hi, I'm Savannah with MCAT Mastery. My MCAT journey was not a walk in the park. At times I was defeated, exhausted, and very burnt out. But through perseverance, tips from the pros, a lot of practice, and focusing on caring for myself first, I ended up getting a 517 on the exam. Something that I really wish I had implemented far earlier in my journey was little bits of mindful check-ins to take care of myself. So that is what we are gonna talk about in today's video. Five minute mindfulness. Let's get started. Now I'm sure you've heard a lot of different mindfulness tips from various sources. We have some in MCAT Mastery, as well as you hear it from other mentors and prep agencies and advisors. You wanna eat well, you wanna exercise, you wanna have a life, you want to meditate. These things are so important to keep a balanced life during the MCAT journey, but they can feel really daunting. It's hard to commit to 20 minutes a day of meditating if you've never meditated before and you're already super stressed about studying for the exam. So today we're gonna to talk about really quick tips and tricks to create a more mindful practice while you are studying. So these are tips and tricks to apply when you're actually sitting there reading content, doing practice problems, as opposed to kind of the other mindfulness practices that we want to implement in our lives. Tip number one, regular mental check-ins. Whenever you finish a subject or a section, or if you're starting to feel the stress and the burnout weighting you down, take a second, sit back in your chair, stand up if you can, close your eyes, and ask yourself these questions. Question one, do I feel excess tension in my body? If so, where? And can I relieve it with a quick stretch or massage? Question two, do I need to eat? Question three, do I need to drink water? Am I dehydrated? Answering these three questions quickly in your head will take 30 seconds and it will allow you to start listening to your body and making sure that you're not plowing through eight hours of studying without giving your body the nutrition, the water, and the movement that it needs. Tip number two, take three deep breaths before moving between sections or subjects. And I'm talking every single time you transition. Even if you feel totally okay and motivated to keep studying, taking the time to breathe will prevent the buildup of stress and anxiety. It's a preventive measure of mindfulness that takes 15 seconds max. Three deep breaths. Tip number three, record your physical and emotional state at the end of every long study session. You can record it in a journal, the notes on your phone, in an Excel sheet, or just think about it. But I want you to be able to track your progress. So let's start with physical. When you finish, before you put away all your materials for the night, check it. Do I have any pain in my body? Is there excess tension? Do my eyes hurt? Does my throat feel dry? Questions like these will help you listen to your body. Then we wanna move on to emotional. Do I feel burnt out? Do I, am I dreading my next study session because of how this one went? Or do I feel good and motivated? What is my level of mental and emotional fatigue? Do I feel sad or emotionally drained? Do I wanna cry? Or do I just wanna sleep? Recording your emotional state will help you track your progress as well as give you tips and tricks to listen to your body and mind and be able to say, okay, I'm gonna cut it at four hours or I need a larger break after X amount of hours. So you can study more effectively instead of just more. These check-ins will help you build an awareness of when and why you lose focus instead of just blaming yourself for a bad session. If you realize that after X amount of hours, you're constantly feeling fatigued and burnt out, you can adjust your study schedule to limit those emotions or physical sensations. You wanna to work to improve your focus and these quick check-ins will help with that. Tip number four, my final tip for this video, use your senses to ground yourself. Whenever you feel that excess stress and anxiety, or if you're feeling super defeated and hopeless, Step back and check in with your senses. What are five things you can see? What are five things you can hear? What are five physical touch sensations that I'm experiencing right now? I can feel my hands on the table. 
can feel my feet. What, are, what can I smell? By grounding yourself in reality of our senses, you'll be able to lessen that feeling of panic and anxiety and increase the motivation to move forward. Unfortunately, these feelings of stress, anxiety, hopelessness, defeat are often part of all of our MCAT journeys. This process is hard, but if you use these quick mindfulness tips that you can apply tomorrow with less than five minutes a day, you might find it a little easier to diffuse some of those feelings in real time. Here at MCAT Mastery, we know that self-care and mindfulness are critical parts of MCAT strategy. For more tips and tricks from the pros on mindfulness, meditation, stress reduction, flashcards, mnemonics, and a bunch of other strategies, sign up for our free MCAT strategy email list. The link is below.